In this tutorial, I want to talk about uh, Linux, specifically Ubuntu, and for uh, users out there who are considering trying this operating system and or are brand new to Ubuntu. Basically, my little uh, tutorial on Ubuntu for dummies. So, let's get started. First off, if you haven't already um, done so, you uh, may want to look at my previous uh, webcast on using Wubi to install Ubuntu inside your Windows operating system. Now basically if you're not familiar with um, Ubi, what this uh, piece of software does is allow you to download Ubuntu from their website and it installs the operating system inside Windows. It allows you to try it without without having to delete or erase your Windows operating system and as you can see here I just went to booby-installer.org um, click download now hit OK and if I was using Windows this would just pop up and you would, this would allow you to choose Ubuntu to install. Now I'm using Ubuntu now I'm not using Windows but this would be an executable file to allow you to install Ubuntu inside Windows so let's say you've done that you've installed it and you've come to your Ubuntu operating desktop which is what I have here so where do you start and where do you go from here well the first thing you may want to do is maybe change the appearance of the desktop here. Uh, as far as the wallpaper, this is uh, somewhat similar to uh, a Windows operating system. Just right click, click change, desktop, background, and this will bring up uh, the backgrounds that come pre installed with Ubuntu. Now, some of these I installed some extra um, backgrounds off the internet. Um, basically from here you can either click one of these I'll just click this to make it look like Vista or you can just click get more backgrounds online and uh, change how your background looks and this brings us to a website art.genome.org forward slash backgrounds and here you have a bunch of really cool backgrounds that you can download for free to change how your desktop looks well let's say you've done that and in my case I've just downloaded this to make it look like a Windows um, operating system from here what you're gonna have are two panels one up here one down here these are panels which allow you to install what are called what are called applets or applications so if I click here and click add to panel let's say I wanted to install a weather application applications I would just type in WEA and of course I have weather report and it just added it I need to type in where I'm at so it'd be preferences and uh, let's say for example you live in Orlando Florida so I'll just type in Orlando and there you go click that close and it'll bring up the current temperature in Orlando which I wish I was living there and I would click details forecast and it gives the forecast for Orlando which apparently it's going to be mostly sunny for the next couple days um, you can add other applets to this panel or you can delete this panel if you want to if it was me I would not deleted at all. If I click properties here in the panel um, you can change where the panel goes you know bottom, left, right but I prefer it at the top so I'll just leave it at the top. You can change the size I just hit the up button here and you can see the top panel is changing according to the pixel uh, setting. I'll just scroll back down here to wave it was you can click auto hide to make it automatically hide like windows 
Uh, one thing I did was to change the background color and just use a solid background color. Just click this and there's the wheel here that allows you to change it and so on and so forth. But I'll just leave it with this teal color. That's how you would change the background on this. The next thing that you may want to do to get started with Ubuntu is to switch it to um, automatic login. Now, if you installed Ubuntu successfully, you had to type in a password to log into Ubuntu each Ubuntu each time you uh, boot up the system. Now, if you wanted to just uh, bypass that and let the system log in by itself, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You click System. Um, go to, um, let's see, where are we here, It'll be, it would be administration, login screen, uh, click unlock and type in your current password, authenticate, login as what your username is automatically, click close. Now the next time you reboot it should allow you to uh, log in automatically and boot up into the system without having to type in your password each time that you restart or boot up the system. Now the next thing you may want to do here is to jump on the web and, and as you can see right here the Firefox um, quick start icon is already up there inside the top panel. Now if you already had this hooked up to your internet non-wirelessly Ubuntu should have uh, installed the drivers automatically if you have wireless right up here this little icon I'm going to right click and click edit connections and go to wireless now I don't have wireless on this particular desktop but I would just click add and just fill in the blanks from here you can type in any name that you have let's say you have a Linksys router you can just type in Linksys here of course you'd want to collect automatically type in your SSID and what kind of security do you use if you're using any and this would uh, set up your wireless and if you leave this here right here clicked on or clicked or highlighted to connect automatically it will connect connect automatically all, all the time that you uh, log on and I have this set up in two of my laptops and that's how you would set up uh, wireless in your uh, network connections now in the next video I'll talk a little bit more about the start screen here you have applications submenu places uh, submenu here and of course the system which allows you to uh, change the um, preferences and if I scroll down here you can see we, you can click network uh, connections that we just used from the panel mount up here and just to end this if you look at the bottom here this is the secondary panel which allows you to change the screen from desk 1 to desk 2 the trash here uh, similar to the trash icon in Windows and if I want to just to click right click this and I got some items in there that I don't need I'll just type in empty trash and it, it's asking you do you want to empty the trash yes I'll just empty trash and that takes care of that so there you have it there's my first quick tutorial on Ubuntu for dummies and uh, I'll continue this sometime later in uh, Ubuntu for dummies part 2 thank you for watching this webcast of total OS today